Hi, my name is Phil. Well, listen, I'm going to give you a little overview of what we're doing right now on this display. Uh, many of you have checked in with our edstripkits.com or maybe checked on our Edstrip Kits uh, YouTube channel and you see we use our new product when we install floor heating systems. Now honestly most of those floor heating systems are done on flat plywood floors. You know so we, we just do the perimeter with our Edstrip Kits, we put our floor heat system in there, pour our self leveler, we got a nice flat floor. Now I've been challenged by some people in the industry saying well listen that's great on flat floors but my floors, when I pour a self-leveler, it's because they're not flat. So that's why we made up this display. I built this concrete floor to make sure that it's nice and wavy. It's not level. It's got some highs. It's got some lows. It's definitely not a floor that we could tile over. I'm going to show you by using the versatility and the flexibility of our edge strip kits how we can make this floor perfectly flat, ready for any size tile. And we're going to be adding a floor heating system inside of this floor. Okay, we're just showing you how out of level we cannot install this floor on top of this material unless we got it nice and flat. Suppose we were planning on putting this 18 by 18 tile. There's no way that we can install it on this floor. We're going to make sure that we show you by using our edge strip kits and our self leveler, we're going to be able to install any type of tile on this kind of a structure. Since we're going to be using a self leveler, we need to prime the floor. I've actually already done that. We've, normally, we would install our, our edge strip kits like this. Well, you can see how bad, how low it is right here. And obviously, the self leveler would just go right over the strips. So the difference now around the perimeter on the drywall, we will actually be able to install them this way. And the flexibility of the edge strips will be able to go right down to our unlevel floor. The first step is to just peel and stick. They come with a pressure sensitive adhesive which is awesome. We can just stick it to the, ply the drywall and again follow the contour of the bad floor. Push it tight and that one's done. Edge strips cut simply with a standard utility knife. Peel and stick. The other benefit of having a peel and stick is that we do not have to use an additional caulk or anything at the bottom line. This will be enough to contain our self leveler. Okay, right here we're gonna, we got our 2x4s to kind of simulate our door opening. So this will be our threshold. No waste, so we're just going to triple these up. And they peel and they stick. Okay, in this area here, Normally there would be another drywall here so we could actually put the strip like this. But we're actually going to stack them up like we would. And then we'll go in around the floor heat register so our self-leveler will not go inside the floor heat register. I'm going to pull all three of these off and we're going to show a profile once the self-leveler has actually dried. Okay, as we go around the floor register, again we're just going to stack them up. And these will be able to be cut out later. But they're just designed to make sure that the floor or leveler, the self leveler, does not go into this full floor register. Okay, we got two layers, and we'll add a third layer. Now when we pour our self leveler, we do not come up to the top of these 
all we have to do, we're going to have a floor heat system in here, all we have to do is pour until the floor heat system is covered. Then we're actually going to pull back and you'll see at the end we're going to pull back the top pieces and then we can fill that in with patch. Okay, we're back. Um, we're going to kind of fast forward a little bit. What I did is I actually already installed our floor heating systems. I got a mat system, of course, and we got a cable system. And this is just for this display purposes to prove how well the self-leveler will cover up the floor heat systems. Okay, our next step is to just pour. What's great is we don't have to worry about pouring it up to our strips because the self-leveler will find its own level. We just need to cover up our floor heating systems. Now that's going to be perfect. Okay, we're back on our second day here. Our self-leveler is dried. Look at how completely flat that is. Uh, remember what our floor looked like. We wanted to install this plank. Now we got a flat surface. Remember, level is desired, but flat is what's required in our tile industry. How about our 18 by 18? Look at how flat that is on the surface. And remember, we have a floor heating system underneath this. We could put mosaic tiles down on here. Of course, any size large format, any type of tile whatsoever by using our edge strips. In this area where we have our edge strips tripled up, we can just pull off the top one. And now that transition will be fine for tile. Okay, right here, we're gonna pull off all of our strips here in front. So we can show you the profile of how well the self-leveler and the edge strips um, repair that real bad concrete floor. So there was another advantage of using the edge strips. When we set our tile and we cut them off, we're providing that soft joint. It can easily be covered up by your base, or if you're going base and shoe. So now it's not hard grouted, so we won't have the possibility of these tiles tenting. Again, a great another opportunity to use our edge strip kits to provide a great flat floor. Right, I want to thank Laticrete, of course, and I want to thank uh, New Heat for supplying the materials that we used in this display. I showed you how you can make a terrible, bad concrete floor into a flat surface for any tile. Um, again, we have a floor heat system under here. You don't even have to put a floor heat system. Any self-leveling pores will benefit from using the edge strips. I know I covered a lot of things throughout this video, so of course, if you have any questions or comments, please contact me personally. Phil at edstripkids.com. I'd love to answer any of your questions, feel any of your comments. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>